Let's now talk about the technology that supports this plan. One thing we know is that technology is constantly evolving and we need to create future-proof platforms, which is why our strategy is structured around developing open platforms that will continuously evolve. Platforms where software cycles are disconnected from hardware cycles. Platforms that are designed for their capabilities, where features can be continuously added and upgraded over the air. Platforms that will become better over time, thanks to AI. With this platform, we will be fully leveraging Stellantis scale and benefit from the economics of software. Joachim, can you guide us through our tech platform strategy? Thanks, Eve. I'm so excited to tell you how we are already making our future a reality. Stellar Brain will be the number one solution platform that allows us to rapidly and continuously build the leading solution in connected services, automated driving, cockpit, and powertrain, powered by software, hardware, and AI. Stellar Brain is our centralized architecture with a large central brain ECU surrounded by zone ECUs, aggregating the sensors and actuators and the edge ECUs driving all the functions in the vehicle, from off-board systems, initialization, charging, vehicle access, autonomous driving, entertainment, the third living space, and drop off the passengers and finally parking the vehicle. Stellar Brain is a service-oriented architecture, which gives us the ability to act and react faster than ever before. It represents an end-to-end -end solution connecting onboard and offboard. In addition, it will have APIs to abstract and access all the vehicle sensors and actuators. Displays, navigation, plus hardware and software layers to enable fast application development on top. These applications can access all sensors, all actuators, and will enable us to fully create an end-to-end -end solution. Dynamic processing of data and workloads between the car and the cloud and continuous software delivery will be enabled by the Sonal architecture and accelerated with 5G connectivity. In the past, it was about a specific architecture for a specific set of features at SOP. The future, it's about capabilities. Capabilities like processing power and hardware headroom. 100% ability to update over the air and a data upload channel to add customer-centric solutions over the full life cycle of the vehicle. Stellar Brain represents a software-defined vehicle platform of capabilities. We are on track to launch the Stellar Brain in 2024 on Stellar Large, the vehicle platform. We will quickly roll it out into all our vehicle platforms, from small to medium, large and to frame, within the two years after. Let's look into some specific domains, like cockpit, autonomous driving, on top of Stellar Brain. Now I'd like to bring up Vishnu to talk about his cockpit solutions. Thank you, Joachim. Now let me take you into my technology world of creating the best ever cockpit and creating it always refreshed. Let me start with the later first. We have over 12 million connected cars on the road today. And just this year, we have delivered over 6 million over-the-air updates to improve in-vehicle experience. This is just the beginning. We will be able to update all our software-centric issues inside the car. And this capability will grow to over 34 million connected cars by 2030. Let's now switch back to the topic of creating the best ever cockpit. We call this Stella Smart Cockpit. Our mission is to transform your vehicle into a personalized living space. The new Grand Wagoneer, with its combined 75 inches of screen space and multi-zone communication, is just a taste of what's to come. The foundation of Stella Smart Cockpit is the next generation multi-modal user interface. It's a more natural way to interact with your vehicle, and this is enabled by a combination of several sensors, including touch, voice, glance, and gestures. Think about the possibility of you commanding your car to execute a parking maneuver by just glancing at an open parking spot and nodding your head. Isn't that cool? 
That is Stella Smart Cockpit Experience. The whole experience will be further enhanced with addition of augmented reality capabilities. A good example of how we are advancing towards augmented reality is in the extended heads-up display in the DS4 car today launched in Europe. Our immediate focus is in bringing new content and connected services, including streaming music, video, and games, and remote control features to our existing cars on the road. We are leveraging our partnerships like Foxconn Mobile Drive joint venture to help us bring consumer experience and also the consumer pace of innovation in the Stella Smart Cockpit. Our ultimate goal is to make the vehicle the most wanted and most captivating place to be even when you're not driving. And this is enabled by focusing on stationary use cases to transform the vehicle into a personalized productivity zone a personalized gaming station, a study center, a creative studio, or even a wellness arena. The universe of connected Stellantis cars is growing by millions every year. To connect with the ecosystem of developers, we are launching the Space SDK. To spark the imagination of the developer community, we are also launching a grand hackathon with the theme of gamification. And this is backed by a $50,000 prize money. Isn't that exciting? Now handing it back to you, Joachim. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I really look forward to the results of the hackathon and all these sub submissions and seeing the winning solution coming to our vehicle. Let me now focus on our autonomous driving developments. As Vishnu noted, working with partners is key. This is also true for our strategy for Stella Auto Drive in implementing advanced driver assistance systems and automated driving. For up to level three, we are co-developing with BMW. And for level four and above, we are partnering with Waymo. We are already selling the best level two solutions in the world for up to 180 kilometers an hour with semi-automated lane change also released this year. Just two months ago, we demonstrated the potential of level three autonomy with our level three pilot project in Europe, where the team accomplished a fully automated trip from Paris via Strasbourg to Hamburg, totaling over 1,000 kilometer of autonomy. Level three pilot represents European's flagship innovation project to test the viability of level three automated driving on public roads. For Stella Auto Drive, we are working with BMW. We have several hundred people working on Stella Auto Drive worldwide. We are progressing well and we are releasing our first L3 solution in 2024, coming out of this partnership and rolling it out across our full portfolio in the years after. We are continuing our collaboration with Waymo to deliver L4 automated driving fleet. Stellantis is continuing the partnership with Waymo, the world leader in level four autonomous driving. We are already working with Waymo on L4 ready Chrysler Pacifica hybrid minivan used in Phoenix, Arizona which was the first commercial autonomous ride-hailing service worldwide. The solution was driving more miles in L4 autonomy than any other vehicle on the planet. Now Waymo works exclusively with Stellantis as their preferred partner on the development and testing of L4 autonomous light commercial vehicles. Together, we are co-creating autonomous LCVs, starting with the Ram ProMaster to meet the wide range of our global customers. We are planning to deliver the first vehicle to them in 2022 for joint development. Earlier, we heard from Eve how important AI is in our vehicles. Mastering AI is fundamental for applications like Stella Auto Drive and Stella Smart Cockpit. Also, in AI, the right capabilities do make the difference. We are aggressively building capabilities. I am happy to introduce you to Neda Trecic, who joined us recently to lead AI. Thank you, Joachim, and hello, everyone. My name is Zena Svietic. I live in the Bay Area in the heart of Silicon Valley, and I'm head of artificial intelligence in Software X at Stellantis. I have worked with some of the most innovative and agile tech companies in the world, and I'm bringing that experience and that spirit into my mission at Stellantis to create breakthrough customer-centric AI capabilities for our vehicles 
including in autonomous driving and cockpit applications. And what I'm most excited about in this role is the tremendous scale of the transformative impact that this will have. So please stay tuned. Back to you, Joachim. Thanks, Neda. I'm so excited that we have you as a lighthouse talent. And under your leadership, we will have wonderful AI-based customer solutions coming out of your organizations. We will drive together AI across all domains in the area of world perception and planning in autonomous driving, voice and hyper-personalized digital assistant in cockpit in Vishnu's organization. Based on this, we will release multiple AI solutions in the coming three years on our existing platforms and growing even faster based on our Stellar Brain platform in 2024. We will launch Stellar Brain with a minimal, lovable product in three years from now. From all cars, we will collect data on usage and driving situations and update or even upgrade our solutions over the air. For Stellar Brain, this means we will release it, for example, with an L2 Plus Stellar Auto Drive feature. And we will upgrade it over lifetime up to a L3 Plus solution. In addition, Stellar Smart Cockpit will come, for example, with conversational speech and evolve to a hyper-personalized digital assistant. With quarterly updates, this means hundreds of new features and this will result in the service number shown by Mamta earlier. This means we can dream up together features, even something we have never thought of yet, to our vehicles and for 10 years after they were built. To sum this all up, we are creating a customer-centric features and services that will be continuously updated and refreshed, enhancing, creating value for all our customers and all our 14 brands. We are creating Stellar Brain architecture for our, all our vehicles starting in 2024, together with number one solutions in cockpit, powertrain, and autonomous driving. It lets us deliver unprecedented performance to create and react quickly. We are creating a customer-centric flywheel enabled by capabilities, platforms, and data to create applications, solution, and services to delight you as our customer. Thank you. Handing back to Eve. Thank you, Joachim. Thank you, and I'd like to thank the whole team, including Mamta and Vishnu, for sharing their visions and plans. As always, success of this strategy will be driven by execution. The good news is that our track record as a company is all about execution. 